This is part of the 19th century movement. The Hudson River School is part of that as well. To promote, in every sense of the word, including in terms of real estate and tourism, um, the sort of uh, rural idols for urban city dwellers to go out to the landscape, uh, rejuvenate themselves. This is part of a perennial story in American culture, or one could argue elsewhere as well. We value our modernity and our technology, and yet we feel drawn constantly to go to Lake George or Lake Tahoe or Yosemite and sort of uh, we retouch our uh, instinctual, historic, uh, ancient roots with nature. And this is a, one of the great tensions of modern life, is this push and pull between urban life, rural life, modernity, technology, and things that are natural, handmade, including art, by the way. doesn't paint them anywhere else. They are the one subject that has this very close thematic correlation to her Lake George years. She's her own artist, she has her own vision, and she's looking back at those years, but through her own mind, in her own way, with her own voice.